There could be as many as 320,000 Americans of full or partial Rusin ancestry. Since the fall of communism in 1989, there has been a revival of self-identification within the Rusin community, but only a fraction of Rusin Americans in fact know they are Rusin. If you have found this video, then you might have some questions about your ancestors that you haven't really figured out yet, or maybe weren't explained to you when you were younger. In this video, I will try to give you the tips that you need to see if your ancestors were in fact Rusin. For this presentation, I will be using examples of my own ancestors, as all four of my grandparents are at least partially Rusin. The first thing you need to find out is when your ancestors immigrated to America. The majority of Rusins immigrated from Austria and Hungary to the New World between 1870 and 1914. If they emigrated before 1870 or after the First World War, it is less likely they were Rusin, but there's always an exception to the rule. For reference, my ancestors immigrated in 1884, 1889, 1892, and 1900. Well, the second thing you should do is look for their birthplace. The most likely locations they put down is Austria-Hungary, Austria, Poland, Galicia, or sometimes they would put something down like Rusland, as in the case with one of my ancestors. All of these places is where Rusins lived. Since Rusins haven't had their own country, they would have to put down, for example, Austria as where they came from. So this doesn't necessarily mean that they weren't Rusin, this is just where they lived. The second thing you should do is go to lemco.org and search for your ancestors' surnames if they were from Poland or Galicia. This is not helpful if they weren't Lemko Rusins, or if they weren't from Poland, but for many Rusin Americans, this is a very good source to use. The next important thing that you should look at is what they put down for their nationality or ethnicity. This could be a wide range of things depending on the time frame. In my instance, they put down Russian, Hungarian, or Rus as their ethnicity or nationality. Though, if they put down Polish, Slovak, or Austrian, this is not unheard of as well. So this is, is, is also another case where they may still be Rusins, but they put something else down. If you have made it this far, and most of these steps have lined up from what your ancestors did, then there's a greater chance that they are Rusin, but these next few steps will make it more certain. Now for the next point. Rusins, for the most part, are Greek Catholic. If your ancestors were Greek Catholic and you can prove it, there is a very high likelihood that your ancestors were Rusin. Now if they were Roman Catholic, they likely weren't Rusin, they were probably Polish or Slovak or Hungarian. Though this is not always the case. For example, one line of my ancestors, they converted to Roman Catholicism because there was no Greek Catholic churches around. Now all of these requirements are very fluid, they could have one and not the other, but the real smoking gun of a Rusin is if they were Greek Catholic in origin. Now after hearing all of these steps and you're still not certain, one thing you can do is find their village. And the reason because of this is you can see if it, if it was a Rusin village or not. Good maps of Rusin settlements can be found online, but here's a good one on the screen right in front of you. As you can see, Karpatha Rusins covered a vast area of territory from southeastern Poland to northern Romania. If they were Rusin, they could have been in any one of these locations. As an example, one of my great-grandparents was born in the town of Blazov in the Preshov region of Slovakia. If you look up the town name, we can see that it was a Rusin town with a Greek Catholic church. From this and other records that I found of the village, I can confidently say that they were Karpatha Rusin. Now just as a disclaimer, 
All of these things are not guarantees that your ancestors were Rusins, but you can be pretty confident in your findings if at least most of these line up. Now as a second part to this video, I'm going to be covering some good resources that I found that helped me on my journey in discovering a lot of my ancestors. Genealogy is a difficult task. Many amateurs can be way off in their findings if they don't look in the right place. Here are some of the best resources that helped me. Ancestry.com Now this one is a little bit of a cliché, but this has been by far the most helpful resource for me. It has good records of Austria-Hungary, and, and it is fairly easy to use for the person that isn't technically savvy. One tip I have, though, is to avoid other people's trees for the most part. In my opinion, they are mostly garbage, so do your own research. Hints from Ancestry for me, it, it'll show up as a little green leaf or something like that. They've been 50-50 hit or miss because they are affected by other people's trees, so just, just take it with a grain of salt, but they have been right roughly half the time. Lemco.org now this resource we talked a little bit earlier in the video, but it is fantastic. The town locations and their database are top notch. The website is a little old, but if you use the Chrome Find tool, you'll be fine. There's also a plethora of other information just about Rusins in general that is very helpful. Family Search. This one is pretty decent as well especially if you're on a tight budget and you don't want to pay for all the ancestry features. Though crazy people can edit your own tree, so I would write it down on paper or a Word document as well, especially if you don't want people messing with your stuff. The Carpathian Connection. For more in-depth reading on Rusin Americans, this is a good site for information. They don't have a whole lot of genealogy stuff, even though they do have a little. Uh, but this is more to get yourself up to date with the Rusin community after you find out that you are indeed Rusin. Now I would like to reiterate at the end of this video that all of these signs aren't 100% certain that your ancestors were Rusin. If you want to be absolutely certain, I would hire a professional genealogist. But if you're just on your own, these are very good tips to have.